to Park City. <laughs> so I'm here on a ski trip. This is Park City, Utah. So Lyle and I are here. We flew in this morning and we've just been walking around the main street a little bit until we can check into our Airbnb. But it's super cute. I don't know if you can see behind me. There's like, the town is really right in front of me. This is the main street and then there's some really cute buildings around us and then there's people who are actually skiing <laughs> on this mountain behind us. And there's tons of snow everywhere. <laughs> so yeah, it's like a winter wonderland. Um, I'm really excited. Lyle and I are going to go skiing while we're here, of course. Yay, excited for our travel vlog. So we just got to our Airbnb. We stopped at the grocery store and got some groceries just so that we have stuff to eat like for breakfast and some for lunch. And we have, we're gonna make dinner tonight. But I wanna show it to you guys, isn't it so nice? I think it's so cute. We just turned the heat on so we're like getting everything warm. I need to unpack my suitcase. But um, basically you walk in, here's the kitchen. There is Lyle. There is this really big great room which has this awesome ceiling which goes really very high and two couches and then I think that this part here is very beautiful because it's a circular room and it just looks very ski, opera ski vibes to me in here. And then look at the ceiling, it's a round circle. So it's really cool. And then you can see all outside of the windows are the mountains and the snow. So it's like a winter wonderland. This is the view of the other side of the room. Lyle's skis are there in his ski bag. We're just getting everything unpacked right now. And then over here, there is a little breakfast nook, which is so cute. I can't wait to eat our breakfast here in the mornings. Oh, wow. <laughs> There's some icicles and the mountain in the background there. And then through here is the kitchen. And then here's the front door. And then when you come through, here is bathroom number one. And it does have a washer and dryer. Don't think we'll be needing that necessarily, but if we did, that's nice that it's there. And then there's a shower here. And then coming back around, there is a nice little sitting area over here. And then through these doors is the bedroom. And seat there, We've got our towels, and then also another bathroom. So this is like a really big sink, so this will be definitely good for like, you know, doing makeup and stuff, all this, you know, counter here and then this is a closet which has a bunch of extra like bedding and stuff in it and, and places to hang any clothes and then the second bathroom so yeah basically our plans while we're here are we're going to be going skiing for three days so we're skiing tomorrow the next day and then we have one day off and then we're skiing again the mountain that we're on right now is like the park city um, mountain where our Airbnb is actually right at the base of where like the ski lodges and where the ski lifts take off from and then the one lone day towards the end of the trip we're going to Deer Valley which is also another ski mountain in the area so really excited to try both of those out we've also got some nice dinner reservations which I'm excited about and but for tonight the plan is just to get settled get unpacked and make dinner
it is the next morning now and as you can see we are on the mountain we're really excited to go skiing we're just waiting in line for the lift but yeah my ski jacket mittens my new helmet and ready to go done I am chilling back at the Airbnb I'm sitting eating some goldfish on the couch and yeah I thought that it was a really nice day the mountains definitely very nice and but everyone's so friendly here so I'm really enjoying it I don't really know what are our plans for the rest of the night um yeah, no specific plans tonight. We don't have any dinner reservations, so not so sure what we're going to do. But for now, I'm just enjoying warming up, cozying up inside. base layers on. These I got for Christmas. They are from Sweaty Betty and I love them because they're pink and white and they have this fun kind of, you know, ski-like pattern on them. Um, the pants <laughs> are similar too. So I'm just getting ready right now doing my makeup. So I'm really excited for another full day of skiing and I'm also really excited right now because when I woke up, so Kendall, Jess, and I are actually planning a girls trip together and we had gone back and forth for a while of like where we're gonna go, when we're gonna go, like what type of a trip we want and we just all three did like a three phone call this morning and booked our flights and it's going to be in August and guess where we're going? We're going to Paris. <laughs> Guys, I you just can't keep me away from Paris. I'm just obsessed. Um, when one of them brought it up, they're like, oh, I really want to go to like Paris and like France. And then they looked at me and they're like, oh, would you, but I know you've already been, like, would you still want to go? And I was like, 
yeah, I still want to go. I'm like, uh, take me there any, any time, any day, I will go. So yeah, I'm just, I'm obsessed and I'm really excited to be going back again. So, uh, it's just like, I don't know, it's so, I just love traveling so much. And I just feel like there's certain parts of the world that we feel very, like, drawn to. And for me, that's just Paris and just France in general. Um, I think we're going to do Paris and then try to do the south of France and just do, like, a girly kind of, like, layout on beach chairs and just, like, get tan and do that all that stuff. So, ah, I'm so excited. We just, like, booked our flight, so we need to plan everything else out but I'm just excited about the idea of going and having a another European summer so all around happy vibes this morning on vacation planning another vacation <laughs> so here I am in my base layers I just put on a pair of wool socks which is important because cotton when it gets wet can be very cold and then over these pants I'm putting on over these base layer pants I'm putting on this pair of pants from Athleta. These are just like a white pair of pants. They zip up on the side and they have like a pleat down the front. All right, so that's that. Now I'm super warm. And then on top of this, I'm also going to put a loose sweater over for another added layer of warmth. And a fun trick that I saw is actually instead of tucking the turtleneck over like you normally would. It actually looks kind of cute and a little bit more polished if you tuck it in and under like that. So I like that and then I just kind of pull it and make sure in the back and stuff that it's not bunched up. Okay and then I'm going to put my moon boots on. <sighs> Sorry I get more out of breath here because I think the elevation is higher like I just walked into there and walked back and I feel totally out of breath it's like very strange it's like doesn't feel normal for me I'm like only I've grown up on sea level like my entire life um okay anyways so so yeah and then the next layers moon boots so I'm going to put my moon boots on we are our Airbnb is right across the street from the base of the mountain like right where all the lifts are and where the lodge is um, but it's just so much more comfortable to wear regular boots so we're going to put our ski boots in the backpack same with our skis and then just carry those over and just change and leave our bag but yeah so there's the boots and then on top of that of course my ski jacket I got so many compliments on this jacket yesterday I'm like I really love it so yeah I do that and then it has this belts in the front so now I'm pretty much good to go only other thing is this bag which I will be carrying on my back it's a drawstring that has my helmet in it and on my helmet I just have my goggles and then inside I have my my mittens and I'll leave links to all these things if anybody <laughs> is interested and then also inside my mittens I have hot hands. <laughs> These are actually my hot hands from yesterday, so I'm going to bring some more. I just find that they just keep you so warm, so I'm going to bring a pack of these. And let's head over the, to the mountain. <laughs> We're still here, flipping coins about what's to come. It starts getting cold. Um, and sit and get warm inside 
it is much colder today and it's also snowy <laughs> so it's like when we were on the lift on the way up here the snow is just like hitting our face making like it just makes you really cold but yeah but we're gonna go down the big trail Lyle's getting food right now and um, we're able to get a seat right by the window and Stuck in the stormy way started out by doing like a couple of runs on the lift or the trail that's called first time which is like the easiest trail and then after that we went up to pretty much the top of the mountain and we went up a really long trail um, and took it all the way down and midway through there was a like we stopped and we had lunch at the top of the mountain so that was cool we sat by the window and just had lunch there and then we skied down we got a couple more runs in and then we came home i'm just getting ready for dinner right now i just took a shower the dyson on my hair and the t3 i really love the curls that this has been giving me i've been using this attachment and i have the world trio so I brought these two attachments with me and then I have one more attachment at home, but I've really been loving it. We're going to this place for dinner tonight that's in town. It's called Courchevel, <laughs> which is another famous ski place in Europe. And it's supposed to be pretty good. It's supposed to be one of the nicer places in town. We also have a really nice reservation for tomorrow night too. So I'm excited to eat some yummy food. I just decided to wear this top that I have from Club Monaco. It's like a cable knit sweater with a built-in collar underneath, so it's a little bit more elevated. I really love it. And then I think since I'm going for such a simple beige look, I might also do a classic red lip to just add a pretty little element to my outfit. This is, of course, one of my favorite reds. The Dior 999, which I wore all throughout Vlogmas. And jewelry, of course. I love this little case from Cezanne. It's like this, and then you can put some earrings and rings there, and then it has a pouch in the bottom. I honestly just throw everything in the pouch. <laughs> I just find it easier, unless I have like a necklace or something that I don't want to get stuck. All right, this is the final look. <laughs> Ready for dinner.
next morning now, as you can see, I am in a very beautiful location. We have the Deer Valley Mountain behind us. I've got a hot chocolate. This is really good, actually. <laughs> and we're at the St. Regis. We just came here this morning to um, just check out a different part of the, <laughs> the area. And it's really beautiful here. This hotel is gorgeous. And this hot chocolate is really good. It's definitely spiked <laughs> and it tastes delicious um, but yeah this is really cool like people can literally ski down the mountain right into the resort and yeah place Woodward which is where we're going to go snow tubing <laughs> so I did a quick change into my other jacket and my mittens of course and looks like we're just gonna grab a tube and go down the mountain Day. We basically took a day off from skiing and we just kind of did some stuff in town. Tubing was fun. Also visiting the St. Marie just was really fun. And then after that we went to a distillery called High West Saloon. And if you like whiskey, bourbon, that sort of thing, rye, um, <laughs> then you would like it. Um, I'm not really into those but um, I did like the appetizers and I would highly recommend this place. I thought it was very nice. Um, <laughs> right now, Lyle and I are just making dinner. Uh, we had some appetizers, but we're just making some rigatoni. We're just sauteing some onions and boiling the pasta. But yeah, that's just the plan for tonight is just kind of staying in and cooking dinner together. Guys, so nighttime skincare routine while on vacation. 
I feel like this is very telling because when you're traveling, you can only bring so many things. And so it's almost like if you were to be on a deserted island and you can only bring one thing with you, kind of a question. <laughs> so for me, those products are Bioderma Micellar Water to remove my makeup, Fresh Soy Face Cleanser. This one is in a little travel bottle, but kind of my tried and true cleanser. Caudalie Beauty Elixir for my toner before my moisturizer during the evenings. The Ordinary Serum for my serum at night. A Ven Cold Cream for my nighttime moisturizer. Violet FR Boom Boom Milk for the morning as my moisturizer. And Caudalie SPF 50 for my sunscreen step for the mornings or the daytime. And then for my lips, GlossierBalm.com for the mornings and Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask for the nights. So that's my, <laughs> those are my actual like tried and two essentials right now and for a while. So right now I'm going to remove my makeup with the Bioderma Micellar Water on a cotton pad. Then I'm going to cleanse with the Fresh Soy Face Cleanser. Then I'm going to spritz my face to tone with the Caudalie Beauty Elixir. Then I'm going to use the Ordinary Hyaluronic Acid Serum. <laughs> then I'm going to use the Aven Cold Cream as my moisturizer. And then for my lips, the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. So this is my evening skincare team. These are my tried and true products, <laughs> which is definitely true because I am traveling right now. We just ate dinner. We're about to watch a Netflix movie before bed, but I just want to remove my makeup so that whenever we do go to bed, I'm ready to just fall asleep. day skiing <laughs> womp womp <laughs> um yeah it should be a really good day though we're going to deer valley so the other two days that we skied we skied here in park city but today we're going to deer valley which is where we were yesterday when we were just checking out the saint regis um and it's supposed to be a really nice ski mountain and it has also really long green trails which is <laughs> very nice as well so yeah we're gonna do that and then for dinner tonight we have a really nice dinner booked so all around it's going to be a really good day tomorrow actually is the day that we're flying out and our flight isn't until the evening so we might do like maybe one thing in the morning but honestly today is kind of like the true like last day I got all bundled up in my ski gear I'm wearing my base layers again but this time with this sweater over it and then I actually have this other piece which I might bring with me I had wished that I had brought it with me on the second day of skiing at Park City Oof. <laughs> it's one of these it's called a balaclava basically it's just warm and fuzzy on the inside and you just put it over like this so that you can pull it up over your face if you need to I don't love the way it looks also I don't like love this pattern but um, it was like the only one, one of the only ones available when I was buying them. And it was so necessary the second day that we were skiing. Um, when we got to the very top of the mountain, it was extremely snowy and windy. And it was just like the snow would just whip into your face when you're going up the chairlift. And without one of those, it was so cold. So um, needless to say going to bring it with me today although I probably won't need it just because I just paired out the window and it's 
very sunny today so um, might not need it but it's a type of thing that I'm going to bring just in case. on the camera because it's really bright but this mountain is just absolutely beautiful and the snow is sparkly the and the sun is out <laughs> it's a beautiful day Good morning. So 
sadly today is the last day and the trip is over i've just been packing my suitcases back up and getting ready to head out back over to the airport so yesterday we ended on the slopes and then we came back i just showered and got ready and we went to dinner at a place called utah so yeah that's what we did and and the food was very good yeah i would definitely recommend that place um oh and then yesterday i guess in between skiing and dinner we checked out some outlets they weren't very like vast there weren't a lot of stores there but i did go into the j crew factory and i found just these two little things a pair of no-show socks there's like a pink a white and then a light blue and then these cute little hair ties <laughs> i just thought that they were sweet especially with valentine's day coming up they're like little hearts with a pink stripe and white ones with little red hearts but anyways it is time to say goodbye so i really hope that you enjoyed this vlog and i will try to leave all the information of all the like places we went to and all of the like outfit details and all of that in the description box as always don't forget to subscribe for more videos and check out the fashion squirrel as well over on instagram and hopefully I will see you guys next time. Okay. Bye.